Hi everyone, my name is Marina. I'm the Mite Medic. I wrote the best-selling book, The Demodex Solution. It's out on Amazon. I specialize in Demodex mites specifically. And today I want to discuss ivermectin and Demodex mite overgrowth. So there was a clinical trial, a study recently by the International Journal of Infectious Disease, which combined the efficacy of oral ivermectin and topical ivermectin metronidazole for ocular and skin lesions of Demodex. So basically this study took a randomized group of 120 people, patients who suffered from Demodex. They based it off of just age and sex and gender, I mean, and that was the only basically the only factors that they attributed it to. Uh, it showed that the first week, they did see a decrease in the mite density. The second week, um, they saw an increase in the density, but by the third and fourth week, there was a more of a stabilization and then it was a slightly lower, a decrease after the fourth week. So what the, what the conclusion inferred was that using an ivermectin regimen alone cannot eradicate a demodex overgrowth or pro proliferation alone. So what this shows is that you need a combination of all factors. You might need topical, internal, uh, dietary, lifestyle factors. All of those factors come into play. Uh, I've seen multiple, multiple, multiple people, if not hundreds, that have said ivermectin wasn't effective for me at all. I've seen multiple people, uh, at least 100 people, say that ivermectin, uh, I had a reoccurrence after uh, I took ivermectin. So I would say that with ivermectin, you can take it once uh, because it's a toxic drug still, it's an antiparasitic. Then you're okay and if it helps, you're fine. If you have a reoccurrence, then the ivermectin won't help. What you have to do is make a change uh, and killing off your biome even more by implementing ivermectin internally or externally together will cause uh, an eruption of other disease and other autoimmune conditions because you're killing off off that biome that causes your immune system to either grow, uh, repair, or it's going to start uh, killing itself. Or you're going to start seeing a weakness in your whole body. Your immune responses are going to be lowered. You'll be sick more. Uh, and you don't want that because you think that ivermectin will help you. Uh, ivermectin won't help you alone if you tried it once and it didn't work. I'm sorry. But so I do recommend that having a very good dietary protocol, lifestyle, taking the proper supplementation to compensate for that drug will definitely be beneficial.